live game is go ahead against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Who do you Jim see making a difference here? Yeah, Marco Verratti. He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate the play in midfield. He also tends to develop a really good understanding with the forwards and just kind of senses the runs that they'll make. And I'm intrigued to see how he performs today. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Early ball. That's well blocked and back out it comes. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Tries a through ball. Well played, he saw that coming. Draxler. Neymar. First quarter of an hour gone. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Battles to win it back. Junior Caesara, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Drexler comes sliding in. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Looks like a good ball through. Fisher gets his foot in there. Pumps it upfield. Looks to slip it through, and he's there to cut it out. And he's there to hoof it away. That's gone a long way up and away. They've managed to get it away. Neymar. Wonderful quick feet. Neymar has been caught there. It's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, it's obvious as to why they're, they're still training. Um, Last-ditch rescues are, are inevitable if they're, if they're chasing the ball all the time, Peter. Shapes the shoots! Oh, the ball's come loose! Mighty close. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Fisher. Who's going to make this theirs? Marquinhos gets into the right position to intercept. Delicate ball. Crawley showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Kira. Marco Verratti. Draxler. And it's Icardi. Now it's Neymar. Icardi with the ball through. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! On the cusp of half-time, he delivers with perfect timing. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal.
Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. And the first 45 minutes are up. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. And we're underway again. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Neymar, there he goes, motoring forward. Passes it through, and the finish! Spoon forward, driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Looks to thread it through, oh, he's broken through! Denver Bar has alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Draxler. Marco Verratti. Plays it out to the wing. Neymar is looking up for options on the left. Played it early. Mbappe is magnificent! Unbelievable. Two to the good! They have breathing space! That is simply brilliant. I dare anyone to top that. Well, the fact that the service was quick always makes it harder for defenders, but that finish was textbook. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Marco Verratti. Draxler. Marquinhos. Draxler. Mbappe. Go ahead. Haven't made a substitution yet. Ilya. And the through ball is intercepted. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Draxler. Mbappe. Mbappe. That uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Oh, lots on that one, but he couldn't find the target. Well, I wasn't expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close. I mean, it kept the keeper on his toes. Robinho. And it's Neymar. Trawler. Lofted into the middle. And that's been repelled. Played out to the wing. Neymar. Neymar's cross. Massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Now the pass. Demba Bar. That's great strength on the ball. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Tries to get it forward quickly.
Mbappe. And that's that. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, I think, Peter, there's a, a pretty simple explanation as to this performance and scoreline. Uh, impotence. Cure that and they'll give themselves a chance.